How many of you are fathers or have been a father or a grandfather or a great grandfather? Raise your hand. So most of us, right? Being a father, those nine months leading up to that, wow, anticipation, right? This is participatory, so you can yeah, shake your head yes right. if you like. Okay. So it's so nerve-wracking, and you're scared, and you're nervous, and you have all of these emotions going on. And, and your wife, she's, she's going through her changes and, and her moods. And, and I always wondered about, because see, God had it easy on that one. God said, hey, hey Joseph, uh, you're, I'm going to make you deal with that. I'm going to stay up here. Uh, he didn't have to deal with that issue, but we did it. But there's a lot of anticipation uh, leading up to that. And, and, and rightfully so, your, your wife or, or, your, or your friend or your partner, what have you, is giving birth to this perfect vessel, this perfect angel. And they're, they're doing all that hard work physically, but then we realize that after that baby is born, we have a job to do as men, right? We have a responsibility. And, and that, that hit me the hardest. I thought, oh my gosh, I, I've got to fill this child with all of this information. You know, Proverbs 22, 6 says, Start children off the way they should go, and when they are old, they will not turn from it. So it's our responsibility to start them off. Well, that's a, that's a lot of pressure. Didn't you feel as much pressure? I, I know I did. So we have this perfect vessel, this perfect creature that's been created, and now we have to fill them with all of this information and all of these good teachings. So what do we teach them about? Pro football, right? Fishing, right? We're good fathers. We fill them with all of this, what we think is great knowledge. But is it great knowledge? It's important, and at least Husker football in my house is pretty important. I've got to pass that lineage on, right? <laughs> but we have all of these things that we, we need to teach them how to drive a car, how to fish, finances. We spend hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars on our kids and our grandkids on private lessons for piano or baseball pitching lessons or taking them to ball fields. We spend all of these, this time and resource to prepare them. But are we preparing this perfect vessel with the right, are we providing the right product in that vessel? And I wonder about that sometimes as a father. I don't know if you do as well. Are, are, am I teaching them the right things? And that's a hard, that's a hard concept to, to wrap your head about. So we have this great responsibility, and, and I wanted to read you this real quick. It says, the role of a father. There is no role in our modern society that suffers greater neglect, as far as God is concerned, than that of a father. Not only has God given men the incredible privilege of imitating him as father, he has placed upon the shoulders of fathers an incredible responsibility. As our society has chosen this day to celebrate fathers, it is appropriate to remind fathers of their God-given responsibilities. As a father, no challenge rings clearer in my mind than the set forth by the Apostle Paul who says, And you fathers do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in training and uh, admiration of the Lord. Again, that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure for me. So we have this grave responsibility to, to teach them all of those things. And we have to do what's right also as Christians under God, right? We, we, have, to, we have this responsibility under God to, to teach our kids to be a Christian and to love Jesus Christ and, and to understand those principles. So we have to fill our child, and in this case, this perfect vessel, with a product. And that product has to be a clean product, and it has to be a good product. It can't just be about NASCAR, right? You can laugh. We're we NASCAR yeah. fans. That's okay. But we have to teach them all of these different things. And one of them is this message of Christmas. Are we teaching them the story of love and joy and peace and those principles that Jesus Christ came down in? Now, I'm not a pastor, um, and, I, and I try to read the good books, so I think I have a, a decent understanding. 
that God had this message to deliver. He gave his only son through this human vessel form that is Jesus Christ to walk the earth and profound this message. You have a pastor to my close, okay? So we have this message that Jesus Christ went out and professed it, the, the, the way to say So we have this, this, this information, this product that we have, and he put it into this vessel, into his son, Jesus Christ, on earth. And we have the same responsibility to do it with our children. So that takes me, so I've talked about God whom I love, I've talked about responsibility of my children, who by the way, I also love, I hope you love your children as well. So I love my kids, I have this great responsibility to teach them about, to be a good Christian and, and put them full of the right messages about God. So I have this, all this product and, and I love them. So now we, we get to the, what I, lastly what I love, which is pizza. I love pizza, who likes pizza? Everyone loves pizza, right? So I want you to imagine this. You ring up your local pizza place and you, and you order a pizza to be delivered. And the pizza driver, the delivery driver shows up, rings the doorbell, you open the door, and there is the delivery driver without a box, just holding the pizza in their hand. Imagine that sight. The cheese is just running right down their arms, right? You don't know where that hand's been, right? And, and what is the first thing that's going to come to your mind? What are you first going to ask that pizza delivery driver? Where's the box? Where's the box that the pizza is supposed to come in? So he has this delicious product, right? But where's the vessel to deliver that product? Now it's just a box, right? It's just a box. 39 cents, piece of cardboard. But it's important, don't you think? We have this great product, but we need a 39 cent piece of cardboard to deliver the product to make it complete. We don't want to just take the product without the box. And our children kind of like this box. The body isn't worth a whole lot without the product inside of it. Who they're going to be, how they're going to live as Christians is the product. And that's the important piece of that puzzle is, is the product that we put inside the box. That, that pizza is delicious, but it needs a box, and the box needs it. Now, again, this has no value, 39 cents. But once we put the product into it, it becomes complete. So the pizza box needs a product, and the product needs a box. You see where I'm going with this? Mm-hmm. Everyone, nod your heads yes. Yes. Okay. So I make sure I'm just not confusing myself. So we have this responsibility to put the proper product inside this box for delivery. And that is the message of our Lord. Now, once we do these things, and we've created this, this, this product and this pizza, and we put it into the box, we can't stop there. We now have to then send that box and that perfect product out for delivery. Right? We've got to send it out to the masses and deliver that delicious pizza in that box. So it's also our job to send our children out, right? To proclaim the word of Christ, to talk about issues like Christmas. So we need to send our driver out. So I think in conclusion, what I'd like to say is we have this great responsibility to our children to provide them with this message, this message of, of hope and of peace and of joy, especially this time of year, to make it clear to them that it is not about just presents and Christmas trees and lights, but about this message of Jesus Christ's birth. It's an exciting time for us, for us right now, leading up to Christmas, because again, if you're like me, I enjoy Christmas, but for the right reasons, but our, the sun is coming, and, and we're getting ready to all have this great birth on Christmas. And all the children I have, each one of them was exciting to have, and I, I remember it, I was, I was so nervous and scared. I wonder why we don't get like that every year around this time. Because mm -hmm. the sun is coming. 
So I'm excited and I hope you are. So we, we have all this excitement and we've got the product that's coming and it's joyful. And now we just have to take that, that product and that knowledge and the right knowledge and put it into the pizza box, which is the vessel to spread the message, which is our children. And if we do that, in my mind, we can do our jobs as Christians and as fathers. Amen.